Hello everyone, my name is Minisethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about everything about the regression model. We will see how to interpret coefficient, what is intercept, uh, uh, error term, sources of error term. We will also see types of regression model like simple, multiple, polynomial and logistic regression model. So let's uh, start it. What do you mean by regression model? Regression model help to understand and predict the relationship between dependent and independent variable. Regression model help to understand and predict the relationship between dependent and independent variable. For example, demand is dependent variable, price is independent variable because demand depend on price. Consumption dependent variable, income independent variable because consumption depend on income. Salary dependent variable, working experience independent variable because salary depend on working experience. Similar student marks are dependent variable, study hours are independent variable, student marks depend on study hours. And regression model help to understand relationship between these dependent and independent variable and also predict the value of dependent variable based on independent variable. Now we will see how to interpret uh, coefficient in a regression model. Here y is dependent variable, x is independent variable, alpha is intercept, beta is a coefficient. Uh, we will uh, see how to interpret this coefficient in regression model. We put uh, 10 in place of uh, alpha, we put uh, 3 in place of uh, beta. There are mainly two type of coefficient, positive coefficient and negative coefficient. Positive coefficient means when independent variable increase, dependent variable also increase. Suppose we put 1 in place of x, then y will become equal to 30. If we put 2 in place of uh, x, then y will become equal to 16. If we put 3 in place of x, then y will become equal to 19. Here you can see one unit change in x or you can say that one unit increase in x will lead to three unit increase in y. Y is increasing from 13 to 16, 16 to 19. That means three unit increase in y na, due to one unit increase in x. So here you can see positive relationship between dependent and independent variable. When independent variable increase, dependent variable also increase. And this value will shows how much dependent variable increase due to one unit increase in independent variable and in case of positive coefficient you will see plus sign now we will see negative coefficient negative coefficient means when independent variable increase dependent variable decrease negative coefficient means when independent variable increase then dependent variable decrease and in case of negative coefficient you will see negative sign minus sign if we put 1 in place of x, y will become equal to 7. If we put uh, 2 in place of x, y will become equal to 4. If we put 3 in place of x, then y will become equal to 1. Here you can see 1 unit increase in x will lead to 3 unit decrease in y. 1 unit increase in x will lead to 3 unit decrease in y. So here you can see negative relationship between dependent and independent variable and this value shows how much dependent variable fall due to increase in independent variable. Now we will see what is intercept, what is alpha. Intercept shows value of dependent variable when all independent variable are zero. Intercept shows value of a dependent variable when all independent variable are zero. Here y is dependent variable, x, x1, x2 are independent variable. We can take more than one independent variable and beta 1, 2 are coefficient as we earlier discussed. Uh, suppose all independent variable are zero then y will become equal to 10. This 10 will be called value of alpha or, or we, you can say that this 10 will be called intercept because intercept shows the value of uh, dependent variable when all independent variable are zero. In this diagram you can see on x axis we have independent variable, y axis we have dependent variable. When independent variable is zero then dependent variable is OR. This OR will be called alpha or you can say that this OR will be called intercept because intercept shows shows value of dependent variable when independent variable is zero. Now we understand intercept with the help of an example. 
कंजम्पन डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल इनकम इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल कंजम्पन डिपेंड ऑन इनकम इफ इनकम इज जीरो देन कंजम्पन शुड जीरो ना बट नोट वाई बिकॉज इन ऑर्डर टू सर्वाइव इंडिविजुअल हैव टू बाय फूड आइदर ही बाय फूड फ्रॉम हिज पास्ट सेविंग और बाय टेकिंग मनी फ्रॉम सम वन एल्स बट ही हैव टू बाय फूड and this expenditure will be called intercept here you can see when income is zero still consumer is doing a 10 expenditure this part will be called autonomous consumption or you can say that this part will be called intercept because intercept shows value of a dependent variable when independent variable is zero now we are going to talk about error term error term captures the influence of all other variable which affect our dependent variable but are not included in our model error term capture influence of all other variables which affect our dependent variable but are not included in our model for example our demand is dependent variable and demand depend on price income fashion and trends I mean these are independent variable these are most important independent variable which influence our dependent variable that's why these variable we include in our model x represent price x1 represent income x2 represent fashion x3 represent trend but some people buy product when they get bored some people buy product when their mood is not good they are very stressed so these factor also influence demand but these are not a relevant factor we cannot include these factor in our model that means in reality this is not possible to include all variable which affect our dependent variable that's why we include error term error term capture influence of all other variable that affect dependent variable but are not included in our model so here we will add error term this e represent error term and this error term capture influence of all other variable that affect our dependent variable but are not included in our model so error term is difference between estimated value of dependent variable and actual value of dependent variable here e is a uh, error term y hat is estimated value of dependent variable y is actual value of dependent variable this difference between call uh, this difference will be called error here you can see this is estimated value of uh, dependent variable and this is actual value of dependent variable this difference will be called error now we will see sources of error terms omitted uh, variable we don't include omitted variable in our model for example we are doing a study relationship between education and uh, salary but we forget to include ability ability will be called omitted variable which we forget to include and create error in our model a measurement error sometime inaccurate data collection for example people do not report their income and consumption accurately it will be lead to error in our model random variation random variation arise due to chance cannot control but it can create unpredictable fluctuation and differences in data and become main source of error terms now we are going to talk about types of regression model regression model mainly divided into four part simple linear regression model multiple linear regression model polynomial regression and logistic regression model one by one we discuss about each first of all we are going to talk about simple linear regression model simple linear regression model describe a relationship between one dependent variable and one independent variable simple linear regression model describe a relationship between one dependent variable and one independent variable here you can see y is a dependent variable and uh, x is independent variable we have only one dependent variable and one independent variable this is intercept this is coefficient and this is error term as we earlier discussed x x we have independent variable y x we have dependent variable and this line shows a relationship between one dependent variable and independent variable and this slope shows a coefficient but why as we earlier discuss coefficient mainly tell us how much dependent variable change due to change in independent variable and this slope tell us this much change in independent variable will lead to this much change in dependent variable that's why this slope will be called our coefficient now we'll see multiple linear regression model multiple linear regression model shows the relationship between single dependent variable and multiple independent variable 
मल्टीपल लीनियर रिग्रेशन मॉडल शोज रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन सिंगल डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल एंड मल्टीपल इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल दैट मीन्स हेयर वी हैव मोर देन वन इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल बट डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल इज सिंगल here you can see we have single dependent variable but multiple independent variable x x1 x2 x3 are all independent variable so these equation shows relationship between single uh, dependent variable and multiple independent variable same way this diagram shows relationship between single dependent variable and multiple independent variable this line shows relationship of dependent variable with x1 independent variable and this line shows relationship of dependent variable with x2 independent variable similar this line shows relationship of dependent variable with x3 and x4 independent variable so we can say that multiple linear regression model shows relationship between single dependent variable and multiple independent variable now we are going to talk a polynomial uh, regression model simple linear regression model and multiple linear regression model shows linear relationship between dependent and independent variable but polynomial regression model shows a non linear relationship between dependent and independent variable that means in case of polynomial regression model we don't have linear relationship between dependent and independent variable here we use polynomial terms like x square x cube this is simple linear regression model and this is a diagram of a simple linear regression model which we represent with straight line and equation here you can see x x2 and x3 don't have any square or cube but this is a diagram of a polynomial regression model and here we can see we use polynomial terms like x square and x cube now we are going to talk about logistic regression model we use a logistic regression model when our dependent variable is dummy we use a logistic regression model when our dependent variable is dummy dummy dependent variable means we cannot measure our dependent variable in terms of number that's why we use binary terms in order to measure our dependent variable binary terms means 0 or 1 for example customer satisfaction is our dependent variable we cannot measure customer satisfaction in terms of number you can measure demand in terms of number you can measure price income in terms of number but how you can measure customer satisfaction in terms of number that's why here dependent variable is dummy because we cannot measure dependent variable in terms of number in order to measure dependent variable we will provide binary terms like 0 or 1 if customer is satisfied we will use one. if customer is not satisfied we will use a zero so this is all about regression models i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care